prepared for the traditional old firm fixture and look to build on their improving league form and avenge that previous defeat to Ibrox in October. There's McCall. Haitley is onside. A great chance for Rangers right at the start of the match. And Haitley scores! The most dramatic opening to the old firm match. It's goal number 21 of the season and it's scored in just 58 seconds. Rangers supporters jubilant, the Celtic defence think that Haitley was offside. So the settling in process has not yet been completed. But either side, as Jury breaks there, that's great play. Neil Murray's in the clear. It's a great chance for the second. Murray against Bonner, and here's Mikhanichenko. It's number two for Rangers. And once again, the square defence has been breached, and this time there was no question of Murray being offside. Mikhanichenko has scored. There's the pass. Murray goes through the middle. You could have driven a bus through the Celtic defence. He kept his head here, but Bonner does extremely well to make the initial block. And there's Mikhanichenko for the accurate finish. Augustine making a good run across to the left. Tackled by Collins, advantage allowed with Rangers in possession. There's Haitley again, now Judy. And the third score by Mikhanichenko. And once again, the Celtic defence was ripped asunder. 29 minutes on the clock. But Mikhanichenko reacted very swiftly to Topo the ball home. This is Judy. Strong enough and quick enough to go past Gillespie. There's Kuznetsov. That's the fourth. That settles it all right. All that Kuznetsov with that dipping volley. There are just 14 minutes left for play. Well, the Celtic defence never entirely happy here either. Tony Bidmark. Missed last week's game against Aberdeen with a leg injury. Van Bronckhorst slides it through here to Rod Wallace! And it's in from McCann! And Rangers have the lead! And are they edging towards the title? Neil McCann is buried underneath his celebrating teammates. Yeah, it all came from a good early ball from George Alberts to release Giovanni Van Bronckhorst here on the left. Rod Wallace wanted it in behind and got it, and nobody picked up Neil McCann at the front post. And although he's stretching, it's well controlled. All he's trying to do is get it on target, and nobody, nobody picked up McCann's run to the front post there. A well-worked move by Rangers, and a good finish from... Van Bronckhorst with the free kick. And a penalty has been given, I think. And that means George Albert. Up steps the hammer. But he doesn't hammer it. He side footed into the corner. And Rangers are closing in on the new Scottish Premier League trophy. Yeah, the perfect penalty there from George Albert. Didn't go for power. Went for precision this time, and just knocked it inside the left-hand post. Fine penalty, Stuart Kerr guessing the wrong way. Good penalty from Albert. A century of league victories over Celtic in this famous fixture, which goes back over a hundred years. Neil McCann, McCann is through here, he's past the keeper, and Neil McCann has clinched the championship for Rangers. It's 3-0, it's the magnificent McCann. Yeah, his pace really has destroyed Celtic at times tonight. And I think it's Scott Marshall who was caught on the wrong side of him here. But there was still a lot of work to do. The ball's played through, Scott Marshall tries to win it, caught on the wrong side. McCann's quick enough to knock it past Kerr and roll the ball into the net. Still a fair bit of work for him to do here as Stuart Kerr came out to close him down. 
and he handled it beautifully. Celtic just caught short here at the back. Scott Marshall Gamble tried to win it in front of Neil McCann, was caught. And McCann did well. Delight for Dick.